Natural gas drilling has been blamed for water contamination throughout the U.S., and now Canadians have begun to speak out against mining companies who practice hydraulic fracturing or fracking. Sheila Hardwood joins us. Sheila, you believe constant fracking in your area has left dangerous levels of gas in your drinking water. Yeah, these fracking companies come in and start fracking everywhere with no regard for the local population. My water used to be crystal clear, and now it is completely fracked. Uh, hold on. Um, in the interest of fairness, we have a fracker joining us to address your concerns, Wayne Thomas. Wayne, does Sheila have to take this fracking lying down? I know it's clear, Sheila, you're simply the victim of a lousy frack. Uh, I can see how that would turn you off the very idea of fracking, but a safe, gentle fracking can be done without you even noticing. <laughs> that is hard to swallow. I mean, how can these fracking guys get away with this? They can just come in and frack my gas hole without my permission? Wayne, you're the fracking expert here. Should Sheila have been consulted? Some of these frackers have no shame. I mean, they will frack anything. So would you call Sheila's situation a total frack fest? Actually, Gavin, the technical term is a cluster frack, but yes. And that's why my water is fracked up beyond all recognition? Look, sloppy fracking always leaves a mess, and then there's the fight over who's going to clean it up. So tell me, Wayne, is there a safer way to frack someone's gas hole? Yes. There are several forms of protection to make fracking safe. Oh, and I suppose it's my responsibility to make sure they use protection. I'll tell you what, Sheila, why don't you stop by one of my wells? I mean, you can just sit and watch me and the guys frack. And it'll open your eyes, and you might even want to join in, or if not, you could go and frack yourself. I just want clean water, damn it. Uh, hold on, Sheila, I'm going to have to ask you to please watch your language. Oh, sorry. Well, thank you both for joining us and giving us the whole fracking story.